Ryan, Derek's wife, and um, I just wanted to let you guys know about um, a little secret of mine that we've been keeping um, hidden from you guys, well, that I've keeping hidden from you guys, and Derek's just respected it, um, but we're going to let you guys in on that secret. What was going on in your head, and why, why did you always keep doing the amphetamines and stuff? I don't know. I can't help it. You can't help it? And what about the Percocet? I mean, I feel like I need those, even though I probably don't need them as much as I feel like I do. Hey everybody, Derek Lambert here. Remember my video I did with Kurt, I said was probably the most important video I've ever done about stress. I think this one's uh, on the same level, if you will. It's releasing a lot of information that's been going on in my private life, if you will, as well as my wife. And uh, in this video, you're gonna hear her explain her issue and what she's been dealing with pertaining to Adderall and uh, opioids, but mainly Adderall. And uh, you guys can kinda be judged for yourself, but I hope you guys understand this thing's a family disease. It's a real deal thing, and I'm here to try and help others. I hope this video helps you and someone else. Like, please, subscribe, and hit that bell. It helps me out a lot to get this thing out there to help others. Share this thing, because someone needs to hear it. I love y'all. But the Adderall, you kept going back to him. Why did I you keep... I could quit. You thought you could? And you just found yourself, like, was it a mental obsession that you couldn't stop getting it out of your mind? Or what was it that was making you want to go back? have any motivation so energy <laughs> depression what about weight that plays a role what about the high of that up that you get out of it that amphetamine rush if you will yeah someone out there is probably experiencing the same thing you know what I mean and it, we're just I want this to be as authentic and obviously this is legit this this happened tonight and I figure it's important you guys see um, You know it, it hasn't just affected me my wife is nothing like I have been in the same way But in different ways she's kept it a secret and lied to me the same way I was lying about my substance and that's nothing that can't be forgiven but actions have to show that you really want that so as a loved one of someone who's an addict as well, because I've been dealing with this for quite some time and I haven't really opened up about some of this stuff. Um, and, you know, there's other elements to this marriage that's been very tough. You know, we've had hurdles. But I find this important for those of you who are out there that aren't just addicts but are dealing with other people who are addicts is, you know, there has to be a, you know, you can't tolerate certain things. And honesty is the number one priority. You really have to be honest. If you're really wanting to try and make a change as an addict, honesty is so important. It really is. And um, her lying to me for so long on and off really was detrimental to this. And it's really created a trust issue for me. And I've done it to her in the past. But that was back in the day when I was using. And now she's doing the same thing to me that I had done to her. And so now I'm getting a taste of what I had done, even though you know she's never intended to do this. But for the longest, she would deny and argue with me about being an addict, you know? And uh, it's kind of comforting to me to know that she's me. Obviously, she's never done the extreme things that I've done, but she's me. So there is no denial, and I wanted you guys to see that, that, um, you know, this is real, and I think it's important that someone out there hears this and sees this, that, you know, the wife struggles with her own demons. Do you have anything you want to say, babe, in light of this, just something to add to it I guess it was it's important just to be honest with myself <laughs> just be honest with yourself and, and others and it's, like that. Hard. It's, it's hard because you worried that I was going to catch you and say no and that you didn't want to let it go right and you knew that I wasn't going to be okay with it huh yes. which I'm not I'm not okay with it at the same time, I do want what's best for you. And I've been telling you that for a long time. I wanted to be honest. But you knew you couldn't have your cake and eat someone else's too. It, you had to have one or the other. So you had to lie. And this, I tell you every time, just be honest. Just come to me and tell me. Every time. But if you're not honest with me, that's what creates the distrust for me. Now some people, some people might experience distrust just by finding out you're using and that's sad and I really feel bad because they're not maybe their loved one isn't experienced with this and doesn't know better I understand that that 
when the habits develop, there is no choice in the matter. I mean, the, the mind is going to do what the mind's going to want to do. Extremely hard to break the habit of your actions from using. In this case, you know, she's lied many times about this over long periods of time doing the Adderall. Seems like nothing, right? The doctor prescribes it. It's just a doctor's prescription. Like, that's it. This thing's real. And it's, affa it's affected me. It's affected my wife. You know? You know, it was it was either pee in a cup or be honest. And at least she was honest. And um, I just want someone out there who's watching this to understand. You can work through this, but the person who's been using has got to try to cooperate. You know? And I'm glad she's not on harder stuff like meth or something else that would obviously keep her from even caring at all. You got, obviously tonight, caught you. Okay. What is your addiction? Like, what are your drug of choice? Adderall. Uppers. Just mainly Adderall, right? Now, would you say that you're addicted to your uh, opioids, your Percocet? I mean, I have a physical addiction, yeah. But you're not like, I have to have more, I have to eat, do this to... You're not like, or sometimes. Uh, I mean, I would prefer to have them. A... I'm talking about like... In terms of taking them the same way you were taking your Adderall, they're a little bit different. I mean, a little bit. Once I get off of them, it'll be different, you know. Right. And she has like legitimate <laughs> medical reasons why this thing is is tough. So, um, obviously, we haven't really opened up because it's not my place to tell everybody your business because that's my channel and, and letting the world know. But this little secret, I kind of wanted to open up for others because it will save people's lives, honey. You know, and someone out there might be struggling with this. What would you say is the number one thing to do in your situation? Even though you don't want to do it, what is it that you need to do? Be honest with myself. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> Being honest is so important, isn't it? <laughs> and it hurts other people when you lie, and, and then you break trust, and then it's trying to rebuild the trust issues and all that stuff. And you don't want to do all that. You don't want to make them feel that way about you and worry about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Just, it's hard to feel like you are going to get back to where you were. Well, I mean, it takes work. You know, it takes work. And, of course, my trust has been broken. And, of course, I have a hard time trusting you. I mean, but that's being honest and that's being transparent to all y'all that my trust has been broken. And I love her, though. I love her no matter what. And she's broken my trust many times. I've broken hers many times. And this is fresh, you guys. But I figure what's more real than, than her being willing to cooperate and, and do something like this? She's willing to come on here and talk about this. So um, it's super important that some of you guys see this, I think, especially in light of the situation of honesty. The only way you can start to make a change is acknowledging one and being honest with yourself and others about it. So would you say that your habit has developed over the years with Adderall like it's progressively gotten worse to the point to where you're willing to sacrifice a little too much stuff for it yes I guess that it's made me different you know it's created behaviors or it caused you to, to act in ways you never would have and do things that you would never do I just don't feel anything you what? <laughs> have any feelings. It numbs you? Yeah. If someone's out there struggling right now and they're out there like dealing with abuse and whatnot, what would you say to them in light of this? Just most important thing you would say, honestly. Because you've been on the receiving end of me, but what would you say to someone right now who's going through what you're going through? I don't know yet. Honesty, that would be the main thing. And and trying to... I tried to accept it instead of convincing. I tried for years to convince myself that it was okay. So you've been, like, rationalizing and justifying what you've been doing all this time? Yes. Even in light of the evidence that has shown that you have, you have a real issue there? Hey, who hasn't done that? If you're an addict, you know exactly what she's talking about and you can relate. Guys, there's a big secret and um, it's been something that isn't my place necessarily to go out on a limb and tell. But my wife is willing to do that and I just want you guys to know that the only way is being truly transparent. 
because if we hide a secret we'll start believing in our own lies it's just the way we are and um i, I figure i'd let you guys know that uh this is real and um it might help somebody else who's in a desperate need so i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and just show her some love and try and comfort her and help her in this situation because it's angered me it has really pissed me off i mean i i've been hurt in this you know but i have to try and consider are you the only one who's done this so it's hard y'all this is easier said than done it's really really tough for me and it's tough for her right now so um y'all got a little bit of the rabbit out of the box for you guys to see something that's been going on and and the sad part was is 60 days ago when I knew that she was doing the Adderall I thought she was done and I, and I had I had taken the pills away from her and everything and uh, the whole time she was taking them behind my back and then went and got another prescription and everything so it's legit so unless there's total transparency and earning the trust back it's this right here is how you destroy marriages if you're not someone who's willing to try and make these things work I love y'all Three and a half years clean. Like, subscribe, share this thing. Someone might need to hear it. And um, rewiredaddiction.com. Come on the Discord and come talk to us. We have plenty of people on there that are in the same boat. Love y'all. Me and the wife have both dealt with addiction. And she's she's hating me right now because she doesn't have her makeup on and stuff. And she's just, she's just kind of, you know, not feeling good. She's got a migraine. But um, her addiction has also affected the marriage in many ways too. And so... I just kind of wanted to bring that out, that there's a little secret, if you will, that's been kept from you guys that I think is important, that she's wanting to be able to come out and kind of say, hey, look, you know, he's not the only one. And it's not about that necessarily, but helping other people who might be struggling with that too. This thing is a family disease. Everybody has the same effect. I mean, it hurts everybody.